Hi, I'm Jake with Aero Building, and today on The Build Show, we're gonna talk about a European window installation method that we haven't shown before. So I've done a couple things with fine home building, some stuff with Green Building Advisor on how to install these windows, but we haven't shown our liquid flash method. So there's a good, better, best. I think the liquid flash is probably our favorite because we can get one monolithic wrap all the way around the opening. Uh, so we can go from the inside of the jam where we're connecting to our window water sealing and air sealing, to the outside to our weather resistant barrier on the outside so it's one solid connection with one product no lapping tape or anything like that now it is more expensive to do it this way than if we did it with tape it takes longer so while the products are comparable in price it does take longer so the installation starts with a slope sill in the front that we actually take the effort to cut a piece of cedar bevel siding to the width that we want the window to sit into the opening. So in this case, we're a two and a half inch uh, cedar sill. This cedar sill will then set the face of the window two and a half inches back from the face of our WRB. By the time we add our uh, rain screen material and our lap siding, that gives us the ability to have a trim board that's our extension jam here that's three and a half, so we don't have to cut that trim board. So we've done a little bit of math to determine the depth that we wanted in the wall, and then the next is we're going to put in a back dam and here our back dams are made up of two different things some of them are leftover at van tech from the inside uh, floor framing and some of them are actually the cribbing or the the packaging that was left over when we accepted the windows and how we unpacked them out of the semi so we're just trying to do that in a cost effective way use up some scrap throw less throw away less material so we're going to start by installing these uh these two sill pieces and then we'll move right into the liquid flash. So let's do that now. Now that we got our sill in place, we're not quite ready to move on to the liquid flashing. This uh, zip seam tape that we love so much, it actually ships with a release agent on it. That's why it doesn't come with the backing. So when you peel this layer off, the next layer that comes around has a release agent on this side, on this face. So what we need to do, if we're gonna use liquid flashing over top of this tape, is we need to quickly wipe it down with a little acetone, gets rid of that little release film. So we'll do that now before we move on to, to our liquid flash. Now we're ready to start putting on some liquid flashing. And I know that we don't have to mask off what we're gonna do. This is a personal preference, just because we wanna feel like we're working cleanly. So I like to go ahead and spend a little bit of extra time and try to be certain that it doesn't look like I'm being messy. And so I'm going to mask off the wall where I don't want the liquid flash to get. But one of the things that I took away from learning woodworking is the measurement isn't as important as a consistent mark most of the time. So I'm not going to measure and put a line there. I'm going to hold my tape up here and I'm going to come underneath and I'm just going to trace and that'll give me more than enough reference to cover where I need to cover. I'll do the same thing here up both sides. I don't have to be perfect but I also don't have to measure it. So I'm going to mark that out the rest of the way around and start some liquid flash. Now that we're masked on the face, you could mask here if you wanted. Uh, we know that this window is going to go in today. It'll get covered up. This part will be seen long term until the siding's on, and so we want it to look nice here. It'll get covered up today, and so all we need to do is make sure we're making a connection between our sheathing and our jam because the tape on this window when it's installed will cover that. I am going to make sure that I come up and onto my back dam here a ways so that, that any water that gets to that dam doesn't then get to soak into our assembly. So let's lay on some liquid flash. Now that all of our liquid flash is in place, we'll set our spatula aside, we'll let it dry overnight and we can peel it straight off there. The liquid flash won't stick to the plastic that they make those out of. We'll give this 10 to 20, maybe even 30 minutes before we come and remove our masking. Then we'll have a, a, an opening that's completely prepped and ready for the window. We'll move on, we'll liquid flash the next one, and then we'll be ready to come back and install this window. In this case, we'll install this window tomorrow and we'll show you that now. Now that we're back to install our window, we've done a couple uh, things to prep. 
These uh, vertical boards here are gonna work as a positive stop when we go to put the window in place. They'll keep it from falling out. They're screwed in place. After the window's in, we'll unscrew them and where they've penetrated our barrier, we'll actually cover with a piece of tape so it won't matter. And we've also placed a couple scrap uh, shims underneath so that the window will be centered in the opening giving us the correct reveal all the way around for our foam. We've installed the clips on the window and now we're ready to go ahead and set the window in place. Now we've pulled our temporary blocks off, we're mounted with our clips, we've checked our unit for operation. We'll go ahead and run in these turbo screws. This is a screw that the manufacturer sends. It's full threaded so it catches the inside, the outside, of the frame and then the jam as well. So this thing self shims because those threads catch the little aluminum plates that are inside here and then the window won't be able to move. We'll fill all these pre-drilled holes and then we'll test the window one more time. Now that the window's in place, turbo screws and clips, we've checked it for function. This is our final location. We're ready to start sealing the outside. This is a face sealed system, so we're gonna be sealed on all four sides. We're not leaving the bottom open like you would on a traditional flange window in the United States. This European installation, we push the window back and into the wall a little bit. The head's protected. We're way less worried about a window leak because that, that head is the place where we normally get leaks. And we're using a vapor open tape. So this vapor open tape will seal all four sides. We'll foam from the halfway point of the window frame inward, leaving a void on the outside so that if there's anything that does condensate or any moisture that does get in there, it's got plenty of time to be unimpeded, flow down and find its way to our vapor open tape. Now that all that tape's installed, we'll roll everything one last time and this window is ready for trim and siding, insulation on the inside. I really think that if you follow these methods, this, uh, these European flangeless windows can be an asset to your job. You know, we've got R9 glass, we've got a tilt turn assembly, we've got UPVC instead of PVC. This product's gonna last a lot longer. And with a few simple, take your time, use the right product steps, we've got a killer window installation. Stay tuned for more from me, Jake Bruton, on the Build Show Network. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thanks.